Hi everyone, welcome to Lux, and today we're going to be talking about the new Leica M10R Black Paint Edition. So I know that Leica cameras are kind of a niche, but they are interesting for pretty much every photographer, particularly those interested in the craft and using the cameras as a tool rather than just a digital box of specs. Leica released the M10R Black Paint Edition recently, and it's kind of similar to what they already have in their range because it's functionally identical to the 40 megapixel color sensor Leica M10R. But the big difference for this camera is the finish. You might think that black paint shouldn't be a feature, certainly not enough to shout about or even make a video about, but it's quite the opposite. This isn't a big deal the day that you buy this camera, but it will be a big deal in five to 10 years when the glossy black paint has worn down, revealing the natural patinaed brass underneath. The thing is, Leica usually release cameras in a matte black or a chrome finish. This glossy black is kind of new for the M10 lineup, but it has been around for decades before, especially in Leica cameras. The natural patina for black paint wearing down to the brass or brassing effect is for many people the ultimate draw to a Leica. It proves you've used it and not just had it on a shelf. It shows that not only is this Leica loved, it's loved specifically by you. The brassing on old Leicas is so iconic. Leica even released a limited 125 set run of the Leica MP. It was called the Correspondent and it was intentionally pre-aged. And it's like a MP that had the brassing already on it when you buy it. It was created by Lenny Kravitz. When these Leicas age, they age beautifully. This camera isn't about today. It's about tomorrow and every day that you use it from then on. And the camera will wear all of the memories and scars of your adventures for many years to come. The only things that could provide more significance are the photos you're gonna capture with this camera. Let me know your thoughts on this and is it really worth the extra $300 for this black glossy paint edition? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.